Hi, y'all. My name is Matt Woodward, and I am one of the architects of the architects scoring rubric that you will be using for this contest. I wanted to guide you through it and explain s some of our intention for this scoring system. There are two big categories, auditory and visual. In the auditory category, there are five subcategories. Categories. Tone quality, which is healthy, supported, and appropriate tone. That's really important because if you are singing a song that is choral, the tone should be choral. If it is not a choral song, the tone should not be choral. The tone should be appropriate for the performance. Diction and dynamics. Can we clearly understand the text and do the dynamics make sense? sense with the performance of the song. Blend. The voices blend together to create a pleasing ensemble sound. Rhythm and groove. I love this one. The tempo is locked in and consistent. The group is in the pocket. The bass and the VP are accurate but aren't draw, uh, drawing attention uh, away unnecessarily. And tuning and balance. The group is in tune and singing balance. There's not a rogue alto that's just blowing it out, right? All of these categories are 1 through 10. 10 being they absolutely nailed it, is professionally high quality. A 1 would be extremely low quality. They missed it almost completely. Next up for visuals. Um, execution would be that the choreo is performed or the movement, the visual plan is performed well, right? Uh, purposeful. The visual plan has intention and purpose. They're not just sort of randomly moving around without, without reason. Cohesion. The group looks like they are together and moving together and cohesive. Appearance. This would be clothing and makeup choices that bring the group together to enhance a performance. It does not have to be the flashiest outfits or the most expensive outfits, just that can you tell that the group uh, made it important, made their clothing and makeup options important. Creativity. Does the visual plan have a creative and thoughtful idea? Um, or, again, is it just them hanging out on stage? Uh, these would also be the 1 through 10 scoring. So a gr group that is just kind of fine on all of it would be a 5. 5, 4, you know, right in the middle. The group that is absolutely staggeringly good and amazing would be a 9 or a 10 in each of these categories. These are the main ones that you'll spend most of your time scoring. X factor is the subjective bonus points for groups that go above and beyond with what the expectation is. Um, advanced elements is if you see that group that has tied everything together and is crafting a story and is bringing you an intentional purposeful moment um, over and over and over again and changing you through what they put on stage that's these points right it's it, it, a group could absolutely come out and be great on on tuning and great with rhythm and groove but not do anything to push a cappella in a new direction not do anything new or exciting well they wouldn't get the x factor. But by the same token, a group could come out and do something raw and, and visceral and exciting, but not be in tune. Well, they would get those X factor points that could potentially make up for the lack of tuning. The X factors scoring is over here. Zero should be what most normal groups would get. They just don't do these these things. So it would be a zero. If you see a little bit of evidence of intention and story and plot, give them a one. Um, a five should be very, very, very hard to earn. Um, this is also not, I liked this group the best, so I'm giving them five points. This is not subjective ranking. This is 
um, truly extra points that you can um, give out if you are a judge or earn if you are in a group uh, based on are you giving us extra. Um, each judge will have this scoring sh sheet to look at. And this is the sliding scale that I would, would like for those judges to utilize. Um, ideally, within the first 30 seconds-ish of the song, the judge will circle a number. That'll be the first thing that they begin from. At that point, as they watch the set, they would add tick marks up or down and say, oh, I really enjoyed this. It's going up. Seven now. Tick it up. Maybe it's an eight. Ooh, they screwed up that part. Bring it down to a five or a four. You can do that rather quickly as you are watching all of this. And I think that you'll find that it's tough to earn. It'll be really easy to lose points, but it's tough to earn them, uh, which then encourages the groups to be amazing right away, right off the bat. Um, all of the, the main uh, 10 categories have this sliding scale. There's a space under for you to write comments explaining why you awarded them those points. And please tell them. Uh, don't just give them a 7 or an 8 and then not ex explain what they did to earn those points. When the set is over, write the number that they earned for that category over here in this column. You don't have to tally it up. You just have to look at what they earned in this category. Someone else will tally up at everything. Down here at the bottom are the subjective bonus points, the X factor. And I want you to tell us what did they do or not do to earn those points. If they crafted a story and it was amazing and beautiful and you uh, awarded them three, tell them what they could have done to earn a four or a five. If you don't earn them any points, tell them why. Please be honest. We want the groups to learn from this. I really want people to leave this uh, event um, with the knowledge of how to grow wherever th they are in their their year or in um, their group's lifetime, I want the group to grow from this event. And then at the bottom, the judge would give their name and sign. Judging guidelines are the things that I've kind of been talking about. One to ten points for each of the audio and visual categories set on a sliding scale. For X factor, you you can get between 0 and 5 for, for each category with a possible total of 15. Uh, but I think it should be extremely difficult for any group to get 15 points. These are not just have 15 because I like you. These should be truly are you doing extra? Are you going above and beyond? There will be some overlap in the groups that get eight, nines, and tens in the audio, uh, in the auditory and visual categories will probably get a few extra X factor points simply because it takes a lot more effort to get those higher point totals. But we want to see groups pushing beyond the norm of a cappella. We want to see intention. We want to see changes to the formula. Uh, if you do a song that's been overdone in a cappella, do you make it your own? You, you, you know those performances where you leave it thinking, oh man, that group did a better job than the original artist. Those are the points I want to award. Those are the performances I want to encourage. So that's how you get X factor points. There will be four judges in attendance that are scoring. They'll give comments. They'll give scores. Each judge will have about two to three minutes between the groups to finish their comments up, to finish uh, articulating what they need to do so they aren't rushed. The head judge would then indicate to the MC, we are ready. The next group would be ready backstage and would come roaring out and here we go. There would also be one non-scoring judge s sitting a little further away recording themselves 
speaking comments as the group is performing. So you get live comments about what you are doing. This judge should be an educator because I want these comments to be educational and formative, not summative. This should, should not be a, I didn't enjoy that. It's okay, that didn't work, but here's what it could have been. They should be appropriate for scholastic groups. This should be someone who can tell you what you did wrong, but also how to fix it. This should be a person who has brought a group to contest and knows the struggles and challenges that a group can go th th through. Uh, uh, again, the big goal in this is that the groups leave this event with some tangible educational value. This judge would not be scoring, but would get input on the special awards and would also be the tiebreaker if there is a tie in the scoring. Speaking of special awards, I do want to have the regular outstanding visual plan, outstanding vocal percussion, outstanding solo, outstanding arrangement, those kinds of things. But I also want some creative awards to come out of this. If some group has done the best story, award an outstanding storyline, um, award, uh, you know, outstanding makeup, award anything else that you see that is amazing and deserving of recognition. This should not be everyone gets a trophy. This should be let's recognize any excellence we see. This also should not be frivolous. It shouldn't be an award for the most blondes in the group. That would not be an important thing. Um, we want to see awards that are valid and push a cappella in a really good and positive direction. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My email address is mwoodw at neisd.net. Um, and let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks, y'all. So I turn this off.